no mask. She has a mask still. I don't know why, but we're at a bar again. Look at that. Normal, see? We're normal. Got some cupcakes from Sprinkles. Sprinkles over there. And now I gotta go find the family who are now running around somewhere here. And yeah, so now that LA's open, this place is packed. I mean, it was always packed, but the trolley about to run me over, living on the danger life. Screw if I get run over, I get run over. Now, where's my family? I don't know where they, where they go. Huh? USC graduation going on in there? Yeah. My dad's obviously having a ball since he's a Trojan himself. Kind of annoying. <laughs> While we're walking 150 feet away from him because <laughs> of his Trojanness. Face mask thing has been kind of lifted if you're outside, but businesses can make you wear a face mask when you go inside. But yeah, we're here at USC, which is over there. But Natural History Museum and all the museums here in LA, plus the Coliseum's right there. There's a bunch of people graduating. It's kind of annoying because my dad's a Trojan, and well, he's just saying hi to all the newly graduates, saying, yeah, me, whatever. Screw that crap. What's yeah. this one? That is so cool. That's ingenuity. Oh, Luna. Okay. Hot cow? Hot cow? Mm -hmm. We're open up again. Well, what? About time. It's been a year since I've been in there. Like, what would you get? The pterodactyl? Yes. Amber collection. It looks like it's expensive because it was, man. It was just 30 bucks. That was a $30. Looks cool, but Daddy got this. Daddy, no, Dad, that's not evil. That's only for toys. Oh, Dad, I'm not allowed to play with that. That's only toys. Oh. Luna. Oh. Oh. <laughs> Building a bunk bed for the kids. Got one of my brothers with me to help me do this because doing this by myself would suck balls. And listening to Vet TV. Yeah, that's what I thought. It's okay, Mama. Go ahead, climb up. Okay. One. Hi. Hi. One step at a time. Now, Mommy can go to sleep here with you. One step at a time. Yeah. Okay, Ezra, do you remember how you got up? That's how you get down. 
I know, this is a good time to come out here on like a Wednesday morning, right when they open. But as I was holding on to a giant snake. All right, so I'm about to move the UCS Falcon up there. Now it's time to move the Disney castle from, at least I already got it out of there, to right there. Got here. Yeah, I know. So we are in Home Depot because I need to get some stuff for my yard. I don't have the plant that my wife wants. I don't see more organized. I see seed. Muta grass, sunshade, mix, rest fescue, that's all fescue, that's the kind of grass that I have, but I also have St. Augustine as Take well. Care. Weed killer, because it's time to spray and pray. All right, so I finished building some dressers and all that kind of stuff. Put the desk out here so the wife can work here now instead of the dining room table, as she likes to do. So, put some flowers out, old wedding photo. Built another dresser to match this dresser. It's all messy here. That has kind of shoved everything in there. Still gotta organize the bedroom some more. They're gonna clean your room. I think your room's a mess. I'm, I'm crazy. Ooh, wow. What are you doing? <laughs> let's build this. Give these kids nightmares. It is, what time is it now? 2.32, no, it's 2.32 a.m. It's four o'clock, oh yeah, he should be asleep. Can't sleep, I am wide awake, but I am enjoying my setup here. My city needs some love too. I think I'm finally gonna start working on this thing. Maybe continue doing the rock work to the rest of this thing. So that way I can finally turn into a mountain. I know I keep saying that, but. Oh, look, Mama. It's like, it's like our doggy. Oh, thank you. <laughs> <laughs> Touch it, Baba, touch it. Touch it, touch it. Two fingers, careful. Two fingers. How many hearts does an octopus have? Three. Three, that's right. Good job, Papa. Oh, my God. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. It's your haircut. I want to see a little mellow ball. Hey, hey mellow, what's up? Oh, wait, hold on. <laughs> hey, you're doing well on the Hornets, dog. Are, you, are your brothers going to join you next season in the NBA? <laughs> uh oh. <gasps> so I'm kind of messing around with the new camera. And I got this ring light. Had it for a minute. Never really used it. Now's a good reason to, I guess, with this thing. And the quality in this camera is legit. Wow. I feel like I'm doing makeup or something. But it also looks good as a webcam. And yeah, 
I'm happy about it. They have. They have Bolka time. I have this one on back order, but might as well just pick it up. Ezra is like buried in there. And I'm gonna put this on top of you because. There you go. Oh no, where's Ezra? He's in there somewhere. I can just see his hair. Like you wouldn't even know that there's a kid in there. <laughs> yes. Wow. Look at this clean room. I still need to take those down. I need to break this down too. I put in my two weeks, so I'm pretty much done. Here, at the post office, after talking to some people, I'm, I'm done. Screw it. I have no fire to be doing this anymore. I'm pretty much checked out. And I know they're gonna abuse the crap out of me and take advantage of the next two weeks. So, why am I prolonging the inevitable? So, last day on this We got some deer. Just chilling. All right. All right, so I'm about to do my last loop ever. I just did my route and helping out somebody else, but this is officially gonna be my last loop with the post office. Let's do this. That's it. I think it's time to build this. Yes. Babe, I'm gonna build this right now. It's a giant boat. Uh, okay. I decided to make my last day working for the post office doing Sunday deliveries. It was essentially the first thing I did when I became a carrier here. I did Sunday deliveries first before I even learned how to carry mail. So I figured what way to go out aside from doing my last loop that I did yesterday, which was actually pretty, it was pretty exciting to do. I was, I was, my heart did break when I delivered my last piece of letter mail to the last mailbox. I guess it's a feeling that only carriers that are about to retire feel. But I am doing Sunday delivery, not only to, you know, this is how I started, this is how I'm gonna end it, because I do have some sort of pride in myself. Even when I left Lego, I went to the front, I left to the front. I started at the post office doing Sunday deliveries, I'm gonna end it doing Sunday deliveries. Not only that, I wanted to say bye to the other CCAs who work in this office that I don't see that work in the other sub offices. So it was my way of saying bye to them and me giving back to helping them for helping me out these past two weeks, now, let alone these past year and a half, so. Let's get to doing this. I'm gonna finish this and uh, call right. it a day. That's it. And I delivered my last parcels back at the main office right now, which is where I started working for the post office. So yeah, it's a pretty surreal feeling. Yeah. It's a four four paper route. All right, let's clock out of here. Done. Damn. Am I gonna miss this place? Why am I all nostalgia right now? Got back before I, damn, I knocked that out before everybody. These tools are still out. But yeah, so uh, it worked out pretty good. A good, a good way out. And now it's over. I don't have to wear this uniform ever again.